Okay, hello guys. Um, so today we're going to finalize our blues project. Um, you remember you created your blues backing track uh, in GarageBand. Um, if you don't remember um, and you pull up your 12 bar blues MIDI, um, when you first drag it in here, it's gonna have the bass proper, but it's not gonna have the um, correct chord instrument. And I know it's a chord instrument here because there's many notes. Um, so what I have to do it to select a new chord instrument, I'm going to select the instrument so that it's highlighted. Um, if I didn't want to do organs, I'm going to click down here. The first thing that'll pop up is a synthesizer. I think it usually comes up as the um, air or the cloud synthesizer. If you click down here at the bottom left where it says synthesizer, and then you can choose whatever you want. I do like the organs. Um, personally, I think the bluesiest sounding one is something like the lighter shade organ, um, which is what I have selected here. And then when I play it, you can hear I've got the organ and the bass. Make sure that you've turned off the metronome here so that you're able to hear just those notes. Um, if you didn't add a drum track, let me show you how to do that real fast. I press the plus, I select drummer, create. And the first thing that it's going to give you is kind of a rock and roll, which isn't too bad. You could still make it sound bluesy. I'll show you a couple ways just to make that sound bluesy, but feel free to select through here. If you don't see this window, make sure you click on the scissors up at the top. If it doesn't have the scissors, it's going to look like that. So once you click the scissors and this is highlighted, the track that you want, it'll bring up this editing um, track here. Uh, sorry, this editing box here. So for example, I could change it. I could try a different one. That's too rock and roll. That one I think could make it. One way that I can make it sound very bluesy is by adding eighth note swing. So if I turn up this dial here, and I can go as far or as little as I want, and all of a sudden it starts to sound like it's swinging. Um, one thing you'll notice is that the drummer isn't as long as the rest of the two. So I do need to make those longer. So if I go to the bottom of the tile and I drag it out, it'll make it longer. I don't want to go to the top because that's a loop function. And we're going to be using the loop function in a second. Also, I personally like having the drums on the bottom track. That's just me. If you drag and drop it, you can do that. Um, so now we're going to loop it out. Right now we have 12 bars, but I need that times three. So if I go to the top corner, you'll see that it creates a little loop. And I'm going to drag out that loop to, um, and you can even see where it stops right at the edge here. It's got a little part where it comes down. So now I've got that for three times through my blues chorus. And I'm going to set up this one three times through my blues chorus. Now this one, if I wanted different drums on each chorus, I do want different drums for the second one. So I'm going to press plus instead of the loop. And then I'll maybe bring back this type of drums at the beginning again. So I'm going to copy and paste. And I'm going to paste it here. There's a lot of different ways you could do that. You could just drag out um, the, the edges as far as you want. OK, now I've got three um, choruses. I have the first chorus, I have the second chorus, and I have the third chorus. For the first chorus, you're going to record yourself singing your lyrics. Um, now, the lyrics, remember, we had written before should be an AAB format, which means there should be two lines that are um, the, or the same, and then the B helps tell the story. And in this case, you're going to do your lyrics twice, so you're going to actually tell the story. You might have to write one extra line. So for example, say I wanted over this one here, um, it's rainy this morning, I don't want to go to school. And then I would repeat. It's rainy this morning, I don't want to go to school. I woke up and I didn't feel so good, which is true, I didn't feel so good. All right, and that's the first chorus. And then the second chorus, I'm going to record my blues licks, and you're going to play the blues licks on whatever it is that you want. Remember, you, we're using the C minor blues scale, which is C, E flat, F, F sharp, G, B flat, and C. I've written it on uh, the classroom again. And then at the end here, we're going to finish telling the story. So I'm going to start with the A, A, and then I'm going to finish with a different B. I woke up this morning, didn't want to go to school today. 
the second one. I woke up this morning, I didn't want to go to school today. But my mama said you gotta go away. And she didn't, but okay. So hopefully that made sense. So you're going to be making a story with the last B. Um, this middle part, you're going to be performing your your licks, your blues licks, and you're going to have to make quite a few blues licks to make it fit here. You can record them part by part. So for example, if I wanted to record my first blues lick, um, I'm going to click record here, and it'll start recording. <laughs> And then if that was as far as I'd gotten for that first one, then I can start my second one here, and I'm going to play this one on guitar. Let's see. Okay, so I'll start this second one here. And you don't have to record your whole uh, melody, or sorry, your whole uh, thing in one go, which makes it a lot easier to record here. So I'm going to start the next one. Oops. Okay, and maybe I was happy with that one, then I'm gonna record another one. And you know, maybe it had gone a little bit farther before you can uh, press stop. Also, um, when you're recording, the spacebar stops stuff, which makes it a lot easier. And I'm gonna record the last lick. <coughs> Oops. Okay, and then I would record the two uh, woke up this morning um, lyrics. Hopefully that makes Okay, so let's say that I'm happy with my recording. I had recorded this part and this part of my entire piece, and now I want to export it. To export it, we come up to the very top in Chrome, and we go, oops, sorry, not in Chrome, in GarageBand, and we go to Share. I'm gonna export song to disk. Um, it's gonna pull up a new um, window. Make sure that you're saving it in the place that you want to. I usually tend to save it to the desktop. Um, it's just easier for me. Name it what you want it to name it. We're going to call it Blues Summative. And this is important. It has to be in this format or else I'm not going to be able to listen to it. You can't just share um, the GarageBand project. You're going to click MP3. You're going to click export. And then on um, Google Classroom, there'll be a turn in for your MP3 and for, um, and for the final product. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, I'll be on uh, the computer. You can contact me and I can help you. Thanks.